So it's really cool to see how everyone's just been trusting his boards, not just at the other events on tour, but here in Hawaii for a long time as we'll get things started in the lineup. And now Cade Madsen with a second chance today. Gets a nice vision quickly there, gunning for the exit. And we're off and running. Connor O'Leary now with priority. And these two will put their head down in battle for second priority. <laughs> we'll see that once again, but just that bump right there took his back foot off and he was actually able to just body surf on top of the board out of it. And that was, that's pretty impressive. I think Kelly had one of those a few years back as well. And taking it like a champ, just smiling right there. He's just like, is this really happening? <laughs> His friends do say wave for you to actually get to that point. I guess we'll finish that after this wave here. Trying to burn off some speed is Cade. He comes out in the prone position and gets back up. So he did complete that wave, but judges don't want to see you lay down. Available in the App Store and on Google Play. And join us on tour from wherever you might be around the world. Locking into this one, Connor O'Leary. Beautiful bottom turn that will Ensure the exit on the other end. Nice clean make. Crazy amount of coil up with his strength off the bottom. You see perfect position, great um, wave selection. Just that dreamy pipeline wave from behind, coming out with the spit, and yeah, smart surfing for him right there. Another great view from the sky. Could he have got more of the barrel? Was this exactly the way he should have ridden this way? Um, there was probably a little possibility of being maybe slowing himself down just a little bit on that pump, maybe not pumping too fast, but we're talking about the beginning of a heat and elim elimination round. Like you want to capitalize mostly on the beginning like that. It was a perfectly, a, like, I guess, sequence of career for him as we see. Nice setup there and making it out is, looks like Rio Wida. Yeah, it does look like him. I was kind of lost. I couldn't really see the jersey collar. That wave was incredible. Just so throaty and Cade up and riding. Cade will get the make. Remember the wave previous, he came out prone. So this time getting a better score. That shows how much of a showman he is. Like <laughs> even when he doesn't get a good score, he's still like, he, you still remember his act. As we see, locking in. Nice control for O'Leary. Straightens out. Throws down the pin drop to get out of his second wave. Almost break dancing on some of these waves. Here's Connor. Yeah, Connor on the other hand, just um, way less of a critical wave. Nice roll in, great position on the paddle. And he was just able to identify that, put his hands to drag and wipe off the speed and smart surfing for him, um, getting a backup score. It's not gonna be a huge score, but something to put on the board and capitalize on that. And now this one's bottoming out, hanging onto the rail and getting tangled up again. And the spit will shove that guy out in the front. He's six foot three. Just picking the gems. Nice clean exits. Hasn't spent too much time underwater yet. As we still have a rider up here, Rio. Wild section trying to take him down. He'll sneak out and under. Great human being. And doing a great job day one. The head judge responsibilities as we look at a right hander setting up for the Indonesian stalling on the open face just a quick little moment in the barrel and he's out Connor O'Leary sitting out the back but with first priority we're gonna see Cade Madsen put his head down pulls in it's gonna clamp on him but he able, he's able to punch free with control well done for Cade Let's have another look using priority wisely here. Yeah, right there. You see him taking um, the wave off of Rio because he had priority. Nice, beautiful barrel, as deep as you could get right there, and the wave just clamping on top of him. He's able to fly away nice and clean. So scores coming in for Cade. He's going to use that one. Still not his best, but a 3.87. So now Rio needs a 4.05 on this wave, and he's not able to get barreled. Rio Wida. He's getting close to maybe getting a 33rd to kick off the season. Chip might be uh, asking Connor a couple of questions about the conditions for a moment there. And Connor's going to be moving on to the round of 32 with Kate Madsen. And we will anticipate a big performance from Rio Wida at Sunset Beach.